Okay, so first of all, oh shit. My baseball bat is what helped me decide to be judge, jury, and executioner. A. And B, think about what your father did to Jonas's family. So, there's no fucking excuse for him. The combat is so jank in this game. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a new playthrough here on the channel. I am going to play Fallout, uh, but we're not going to play vanilla Fallout. We are going to play Fallout with the Tale of Two Wastelands overhaul and the Capital Punishment mod list. Uh, so I just recently finished watching Fallout on Amazon Prime and got the bug to play the game again. Uh, I have played these games um, for hundreds of hours in the past. Um, you know, both Fallout and uh, also Skyrim and, and Oblivion and, you know, the Elder Scrolls uh, series games. Uh, but I've only done uh, a little bit of Fallout 4 on the channel a few years ago in a live stream. So uh, never really done, you know, the Bethesda content other than that. Well, I guess I did some Elder Scrolls online a little bit too, but not, not a lot of that. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, what Tale of Two Wastelands and Capital Punishment is. Uh, so basically, Tale of Two Wastelands combines both Fallout 3 and New Vegas into a single playthrough. You start the game in Fallout 3, and then uh, you can take a train to the Mojave Desert to start the Fallout New Vegas playthrough, all again in one save in one playthrough. So it's really cool. Um, it also ports Fallout 3 over to the New Vegas game engine, uh, which means some of the features that we had in New Vegas, such as being able to craft our own ammo, you can now also do in Fallout 3, which is really neat. A capital punishment is simply just a curated mod list uh, of almost 500 mods. I mean, there's a huge amount of mods in capital punishment, and it's designed to uh, as the you know, as the uh, name implies, make the game very challenging. Uh, so it adds all kinds of mods to the game. You know, changing the way things look, changing the the gameplay itself, changing the way things like guns behave, and uh, you know, just really cool enhancements like that. And you know, makes it so uh, it, the game is very challenging. It does have actually a hardcore mode and a casual mode, but I'm going to be playing it in the hardcore mode because I want the challenge. So I have uh, links in the description for both Tale of Two Wastelands um, and Capital Punishment. If anybody's interested, uh, just click on those links and you can get more information about what they're about and, and what you know mods are involved in all this. There's just way too many for me to, you know, to talk about here. Okay, so um, let's see. This is going to be a, a long series. So I as long as you know you guys are enjoying it and the views justify me continuing on the channel, it's going to take us a long time to get through this. I mean, Fallout 3 and New Vegas by themselves are long playthroughs, and now we're combining the two. Uh, I am planning on doing some light role playing in this uh, in this playthrough because these are, after all, role playing games. So we'll kind of get into character a little bit with uh, you know with our guy. I'm not going to go crazy with or anything like that, but uh, we will role play that guy, and he's going to be um, he's going to be mostly a, a good aligned character, but he's he, he's not going to put up with any crap. So you know, if he feels like someone's double crossed him or is doing something evil, there's going to be very little mercy for for those individuals. So that's how I'm going to role play it. You know how I I, I role play in the game uh, does not necessarily ref reflect how I would feel about things in real life. Of course, it does to some extent, but not not totally. So just kind of remember that, you know, when uh, if my character makes a decision that may not sit well with you. <laughs> OK, it's just a game. Uh, so anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the preamble here. Very much looking forward to this. I hope you guys enjoy this, too. And so, oh, there is one other thing I want to tell you. Uh, you can't start in Vault 101 with Capital Punishment. There's technical reasons for that. I don't know exactly what they are. Uh, but when you start Capital Punishment, you actually have to start um, after you leave Vault 101. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Episode 1 in Vanilla Fallout 3 um, and go through the uh, Vault 101 sequence. Uh, for those of you who have never seen it or for those of you who may want to just see it again if you haven't seen it in many years like I haven't, um, and, and what that means, among other things, is that, you know, the graphics will be jank, the combat will be jank, <laughs> it'll be, you know, whenever Fallout 3 came out, which was 2006, 7, something like that, um, and the screen ratio will be off too because, you know, vanilla Fallout 3 does not support my ultra-wide screen monitor. 
Uh, and that's, of course, one of the things that these mods do is they allow me to play the game uh, in ultra wide. So that's going to be really cool. So, yeah, we'll play episode one in vanilla, go through the whole vault sequence so you guys can see that. And then when we start up episode two, we will start proper with capital punishment. Um, and, we, you know, we'll select all of our traits and our skills and all that sort of thing. And then we'll take off from there. All right, guys, very much looking forward to this. I hope you guys are, too. And I'll see you in Vault 101. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? All right, guys, welcome to Fallout 3. 
excuse me, the start of our playthrough here. So just a couple things before we continue here. Um, because I'm playing the vanilla um, game straight off of Steam just to get through the you know the, the first part of the game here, um, it, it doesn't support my ultra widescreen monitor uh, ratio. So that's why it's in the four by three ratio at the moment. And also it's going to, you know, because this is also tutorial. So as we go through it, it's going to want us to choose our, you know, our perks and our skills and our attributes and all that sort of thing. But we're going to have to redo those when we start over in um, capital, uh, capital punishment anyway. So we'll just kind of get through this quickly and, um, you know, we're doing this mostly just for the story. Okay, so with that being said, let's do this. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Okay. Let's just type in OG, because we're going to have to, again, redo all of this later. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. All right, we'll just use the default for all this stuff, too. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in James. cardiac arrest. Start compression. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. It's you and me. Okay? Don't you one me. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. Now there will be trouble. James, James, James and his cheery charity. Your future is right. Boys in this place will feel Come on over here, just son. like home. Come on. Walk to Daddy. Mama. There you go. <laughs> My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Mama. Okay, so this is where we choose our attributes. Um, again, we got to redo these later, so I'm probably just going to put points in strength and agility for guns. Maybe, uh, maybe a point in endurance too, because that affects our health. And let's just put the other two in agility. Okay, that takes care of that. Don't have any lockpicks. <laughs> I'm a toddler with no lockpicks. What's the world come to? <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. The experiment to prepare. We prepare for this Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You get blinded, the poor kid. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, your young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? 
down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a pit bull. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were onto us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. What? <laughs> um, you didn't fool me, I just pretended not to know. Uh, is this it? Or hasn't the real part? Okay, nah, let's not be a dick. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. A 12-gauge? Um, a date with Christine Kendall? Uh, I have no idea. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. Nice. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Boy, I wish I was ten. I... Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know... Having a what, nice are you two time. best friends now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> My pit boy. Okay, um... Yeah, those guys are dicks. Are you having a nice time? Happy birthday, Sonny. Happy birthday, Sonny. Are you... I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I thought she said my dad did all the work. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. I'm having a nice time. Okay. That wasn't very nice. Hey, happy this birthday, This is my birthday. Mostly. You could be nice on my birthday. <laughs> Are you having a nice party? Ten years old... My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Hmm. Here you go. A nice, sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. Awesome. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Damn straight. Attention, everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Hey, wait. Oh. Dude. Happy birthday. You just ruined my cake. Oh, no. I didn't bring you a present. Allow me to wish you a wondering. happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... Uh... Yeah. No thanks. Okay. Let's talk to Dad. Oh. I'm hungry. That stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Um, let's see. Sherbet sure, spit on the sweet, a sweet roll and give it to him. No, you know what? Fuck you, dude. I'm not giving you my sweet roll and I'm not going to spit on it because I want to eat it myself. So fuck off. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. How's it going, pal? Daddy, so I told you not to act all official. Oh, shit. I know you were joking, but um, I'm not how sure do I... Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. People always enjoy I couldn't... my... You all right, son? Uh, yeah. He didn't hurt that friend of yours. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna all. press charges for assault and battery. I couldn't... I couldn't pull my uh, fist out. I don't know why. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to. How do you think we should call our kids? Try it sometime, Daddy. All right, let's talk to this guy. How's it going, pal? How do you like that pit boy son? Fit all right and everything? Uh, it's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. 
How may I say baseball I'll cap at What's Butch's what? problem anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Yeah, he is a jerk. He's lucky Gomez stopped the fight before I really hurt him. That's right. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, Wait. It's <laughs> sarcastic. Really uh, let's see. We, we, what did we get from... We got a baseball cap. So let's go to items and apparel. Oh, this gives us plus five to melee weapons. Okay. Let's do it. Never nice. Suspected it. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Yeah, I got one. How are you? Where's my dad going? Party, Mrs. Super cool, right? I help with the decoration. Jeez, Wally. Nice Who's part. the head of the gang? You or me? Jonas? No really? way. Hey, They're God. lovely. We're all set down you here. You did such a splendid Thanks. job. Thanks. I'll send them right down. How's it going, pal? Hello, Officer Gomez. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. I'm glad you could make it. Okay. I'm glad to be Happy here. Birthday. I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know. Reactor level. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. You kind of did. Uh, yeah, my dad and Amata threw a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, this is really probably the most practical answer that a ten-year-old boy, most ten-year-old boys would do. Uh, but you know what? Let's be polite. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. It's part of my job. Plus, well, you and your I like okay. parties. Okay, uh, reactor. Uh, sure thing, Officer Gomez. You, oh. well, nice Where are you going? You. Leave me alone, you're a jerk. Here we go. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, I'm not a kid. I'm 10 years old. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what his light is. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-Boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Is my dad coming? Oh, there he is. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so... I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's nice. a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? <laughs> good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you nice. think? Want to give it a try? Um, what do I get to kill? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Okay. Now oh, we got some targets set up. Did, did they already give me the gun? Oh yeah. I guess we can't aim down the sights. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think Whoop. you can take care of it with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. Imp You'll be fine. Is it Good hidden? work. That's one less rad roach that to deal weird. with. It doesn't look Let's like get a I was picture doing together. damage to it. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. <laughs> I guess we killed him. Over here, son. Smile. And girls have different parts. Right. Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter. So 16 years old. Like I get any kind of special treatment. Revelation 216. I am Alpha and Omega. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Um. Anything I need to know about the goat? 
The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test, GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Yep, heard it before. All right, if you say so, Dan. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Uh, do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. What's wrong with this Stay on the Overseer's good side and you <laughs> always will be. You understand? That's funny. You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Um, is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? That's what the overseer says. That's what he it? says. He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. Can we talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all... Most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah... She had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Mm. Okay. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. Now get out of here. And good luck. Good morning. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? Yeah, it's the goat day. Real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go to the storeroom, Amada. What are you gonna do, Go run and tell your daddy on us. Stay away from me. You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? She thinks she's better than us. Yeah. What do you want? Um, tunnel snakes, you guys are some kind of gang, is that it? Well, you'd think I would know that by now. What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Um, leave her alone or you'll answer to me. Maybe I can help. She's very sensitive about her weight. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, leave her alone or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. Uh, that's it, Butch. You and me right now. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Tunnel Snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Daddy's... Butch, stop. Oh, now I got this. Leave him alone. Where? Please, Come stop on. fighting. Hey, Give another one. How many hey, third person? The Please, tunnel snakes. stop fighting. I'll give you another one. Again. You're kidding. Stop it. Come on, tunnel snakes. They'll get yours this eventually. Bitch isn't worth yeah, our time. Whatever you say, Bush. What? Okay, okay. You win. It flipped me into third we'll person. Leave the little really girl weird. alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. So You're the boss. Cool. Tunnel grandma? snakes it's gonna be fun. Fine. Let's go. Well, I, I don't. It's working again okay. soon for you. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like uh, going into third person. Uh, let's put our fists away. Thanks for getting rid of them. Tch, assholes. Yeah, they are. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. How about we head down to the diner after class? Great. Well, you made it. 
All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Um... Uh, sure. I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. <laughs> we'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Okay. Where do I sit? Just anywhere? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave... That's the same thing she said before. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? <laughs> um... But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. For all you knew, he was planning to blow up the vault. Say nothing but slip away before the scientist can continue his rant. Uh, yeah, let's just Question two. leave. <laughs> While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads, scream for help, medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities, restrain the patient, and merely observe as the infection spreads. Um, if it's spreading at an alarming rate, that means if we don't do something drastic, he's going to die, and he might even infect the rest of the vault. So I think amputation is probably the best thing here. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay because I have no idea if the property he has is actually stolen. Yeah. Question four. If I knew for sure it was. Congratulations. You've made one of different. the Vault 101 baseball teams. You guys have room to play baseball down here? Uh, what? Oh, what do I prefer? Um, pitcher, catcher. Uh, probably the hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. Damn. What do you do? Uh, obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol. Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Ask a granny for a minigun instead. <laughs> Throw your tea in granny's face. Um, well, I mean, none of these are really very good options here. I think probably we'll go with the tea, but only after I grab the pistol out of her hand so she doesn't try and shoot me. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Trade a vault hoodlum for his cherry bomb and blow the door open. Go in the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Walk away and let the old coot rot. Um, I mean, if I had a bobby pin, I'd probably pick the lock on the door. Question seven. Oh, no. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? A bullet to the brain, large doses of anti-mutagen, prayer, uh, removal of the mutated tissue with a precision la laser. I guess I probably want to try this first. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal it at gunpoint. Sneak into the residence quarters and steal it. Slip some knockout drops into the residence. And yeah, I would, if I want it that bad, I'll trade it for something. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... 
Loosen the bolts on some pipes when the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. Put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Break in the locked medicine cabinet and replace his high blood pressure. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor. So, damn, this isn't... I would not do any of those things to my dad. <laughs> um, I mean, this is probably the least harmful because this could burn his ass or give him a heart attack. Um, that could kill him. And that would, at the very least, cause some pain if not kill him too. So, yeah, lesser of two evils, I guess. It's a bullshit question. question. Who is indisputably the most important person involved 101? He who shelters us from the harshness his, of the atomic the wasteland of and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's go with uh, number three, the overseer. Pencils down, people. That's, That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well... There are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Okay. Now, um... Let's just see what happens here when these guys hand theirs in. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. All finished? Yo, teach! I'm done! Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. <laughs> all finished? Hairdresser. <laughs> I'm all done, Mr. Brotch. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Oh, gee. Engineering, all right. All finished? Let's, let's see what the other ones do. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science? Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. Maintenance. I hope you're all Bye. finished. Hey. Hey. Uh. She's not very happy. You gonna talk to him, Susie? We're not friends. Oh. We're never going to be friends. Got it? Okay. Wally, are you gonna turn your test in? What is it, Feeb? Feeb? Why did he call me Feeb? I'm finished here. Don't you want to find out what you got? Now nah, I already know what it says. Hardly takes a rocket scientist to crack that joke of a test. <laughs> and what about you? Hey, what did you put for number 10? Hey, you're supposed to be done taking the test, dude. I'm thinking of going with Overseer for the last one. What did you put? <laughs> Stop bothering me. I I've just got to figure All out right. this last one. Apparently, you're management material. You're going to be trained as a shift supervisor. Could I be talking to the next overseer? I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Um, I just answer randomly is that how you got the, stuck with your job? That can't be right. That stupid test got it all wrong. Um, that's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally come true. I mean, I didn't really answer randomly, so okay. Yes. Um. It's refreshing to see such uh, youthful enthusiasm. 
good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Oh, okay. So this is where I um, can do more skills. Oh, this. Oh, I can change them. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, oh, no. This is what it gives me. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, based upon my answers. But we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to take speech away. We're going to go with small guns. We have melee weapons. And we want. Uh, medicine, snake speech, unarmed. I guess we'll go with, um, let's just go with medicine. Because none of this matters. We're going to have to redo it all anyways when we start capital punishment. So, all right, there we go. Exit the classroom. Snake life forever. Anything is possible. Even an A. That is the promise. It is safe. Is he get so back to Wake up! Come on, wake up! You need to know these things. Come on! You've got to wake up! What's wrong, Amada? You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you! They are? What do you mean my dad's gone? He's left the vault! I don't know how, but he's gone, and my father, he's kind of gone crazy! I've never seen you so scared, Amada. What happened? Dad couldn't have really left the vault. That's impossible. Um, yeah. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone, and Jonas is dead, and now they're looking for you. Jonas is dead? What? What the hell's going on? My father's men think Jonas helped your dad escape. They caught him and brought him to my dad's office, and they... Oh my god. Um... So they killed Jonas, and I'm next. Is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. Ooh. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. Um. Even if all that's true, how did you get here first? I need to escape the vault. You're going to help me. Um. Okay, let's go with this one. You're right. I can't stay here, but where can I go? I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Uh, no, he did not. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault how? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. All right, sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Um, okay. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. I'll meet forever. you at the vault door if I can. All right, let's pick up the baseball bat and the BB gun and the BBs. And we'll take... Uh, take all. Okay. Take all that stuff. Anything else we can loot? There's actually a pre-war baseball bat. Or cap. Melee weapon plus two, speech plus two. What, uh, what are we wearing right now? Uh, whoops. Sorry. Exit E. Apparel. Oh, uh, that's what we're wearing. Okay. And the one we have is actually in better condition anyway, so. I keep pressing escape to close the the pit boy in the menu, and it actually brings up the game menu, so I'll have to get used to that. Uh, is that something down there? No. Just bolts. There he is. Hold it right there. Um, here, let's get, how many rounds do we have? We have 24 rounds. Okay, let's hold off on the pistol. Let's just use the baseball bat. Get off me! Get away from me! That's all. Gotcha! Uh. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Oh. You got to help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Um, Butch, ask me for help. If only you knew the irony, what irony meant. Um, fuck off. I'm not going to help you. You know, I don't think I have anything against your mom. And since she's the one that's in trouble, I'll go ahead no, and help you. I can't go back in there. It's, it's dark. Oh, the big tough guy roaches. can't go in there, huh? I see. All right. Are you saying, yeah. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? No. I mean, it's not the dark. It's the rad roaches. I... I can't stand them. I tried to get back in to get her. I really did. But I couldn't. You gotta help me. She's not gonna last much longer in there. Can't you hear her screaming? Um. Uh, sure. I'll say Oh my wrong. god. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. <laughs> ah! Ah! Stop it! Butchie, help me! Butchie's uh, a little bit of a pussy. I don't think he's going to help you, but I will. Is that all of them? We did it! My mom's going to be okay. It. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. <laughs> hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it. Uh, does it do anything for me? Tunnel snakes. Melee weapon plus five. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. See that? That was worth helping him out, for sure. What's the? No, I don't need that. All residents of Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. Okay, let's go. Uh, that door is inaccessible. It says. Exercise regularly. It says. Oh, we already came. Okay, we already came through this way. That is all. The door is inaccessible. Common room. Clear uh, lounge. Oh. Okay, let's sneak. This is the overseer. All the Oh! 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 Uh, it doesn't look like it's under control to me. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I forgot I had a light on this thing. Uh, okay, there's no place else to go in here. Let's go up to the atrium. Are you... Wait. Oh, oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Uh, thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. And I'll pretend you don't work for a homicidal maniac. Um, okay. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Uh, okay. Come on, kid, get out of here before you get us both killed. Okay, I'm working on it. Um, that says atrium, that says classroom. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? Me and Andy were in a tight spot, and no mistake. I can't hear him. Andy, you're making a lot of noise, dude. Can't hear what the fuck he's saying. Uh, what's this? You found a bobblehead. The vault Limited Edition. Medicine skill increased by 10 points. Nice. Okay. That locker is empty. Normally I would take that stuff if we weren't going to have to start over, but there's no, no reason to. Um, e for exit. There we go. Here we go. Back to our quarters. It's our only chance. Don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me. Tom! Be careful! Oh shit! Tom. No lady, don't go run over there. Oh, damn, those guys mean business. Um, maybe we better get 
this out. <laughs> All right. See, now, one of the mods that I'll be playing with will allow me to aim down the sights, but apparently you can't do that in the vanilla game. Vanilla Fallout 3. Are they going to the stay down there or come this way? Control. Do not interfere with security personnel. We just took out Officer Richards. That is all. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. So used to pressing escape for stuff like that. No, I don't want to search you guys. I want your weapons and your ammo and your armor. Took his head off, clean off, didn't we? Okay, let's take a look and see what we got. So, my pistol is definitely in the best shape. Of all of those, the police baton does five damage, the baseball bat does eight. I'm sure this has a faster attack speed, but we'll stick with the baseball bat for our melee weapon. Um, this will give us some uh, armor. The DR, I believe, means damage reduction. Um, so yeah, we'll put those two things on. We do lose our melee weapon bonus for this, though. Maybe we'll keep the tunnel snake... Sh um, jacket on but we'll we'll put the helm on cool okay we got some stim packs but oh we're oh shit we're in pretty good oh oh what the hell i'm shooting right at him okay um pick door to vault 101 entrance very hard uh, we probably can't do that I don't know why I'm shooting right at those things, and it's like the, the bullets aren't hitting me. How about have a bonus in your face in the form of a 10 millimeter? Uh, I don't think we need any of that stuff. I would take it again if, if we were going to continue this particular playthrough, but we're not. So. Oh my god, look at all those red roaches. Alright, let's switch back to uh, the baseball bat. See one more red dot here. Here we go. Okay. Did we miss anything over this way? I don't think so. You! This is your fault! You and your stupid father! He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody! Uh. I'm, I'm, hey, dude, I'm just as in the dark about it as you are, so. Relax. Besides, I got a baseball bat and you don't. Oh shit. Does this do anything? Nope. Admin. I told you, I don't know anything! Be reasonable. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. You like that, you bastard? Jeez, can't get the timing of this right. There you go. You're the fucker that killed uh, Jonas. Vault 1 security armor. Wait, that's the thing we already we already have, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. <laughs> you're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Uh, just give me the keys to your office and your password and then I'll be going. If you ever lay a hand on a mod I can, I'll make you regret it. I'm here to kill you. Jonas was my friend. Um, you know, here's the thing. We are, um, we're generally going to be a good aligned character. Um, for one reason, because it's going to work with one of the, you know, one of the perks we're going to take. 
but uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of mercy on on people that don't deserve mercy. So, yeah, we're going to fuck this guy up. A regrettable incident. But will killing me bring back your friend? Nope, but it'll make me feel better. Think a moment. If you really care about your fellow citizens, killing me is the worst thing you could do. Without an overseer, the vault would be plunged into chaos and disaster. Surely you can see that as well as I. Come now. Turn yourself in and we can resolve this whole thing peacefully. Just because your father betrayed us doesn't mean you have to. Um, you know what? I saw the Fallout show on Amazon and people are able to vote for a new overseer. So, yeah, they're just going to have to get along with that. Do you really think I'm afraid? I've dealt... There he is! Okay, give me your stim packs, your password, and your key. Amada's probably not going to be very happy with me for killing her dad, but he deserved it. He killed Jonas. And for all I know, it's his fault that my dad's gone too, so... Um, okay, activate the desk terminal. Lock cell door. Error locking cell door. Wait, what? Oh, this is the cell door. Weapons locker. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, uh, take all is A. That's a different key than what I'm used to. We don't need any of that stuff. And we don't need any of that stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, my God! Daddy! I don't think she's going to be very happy with me. My God, what have you done? You killed him! Why would you kill my father? Uh, because he killed Jonas. And drove my father away. Presumably. Get away from me! I can't talk to you right now. Uh, okay. I, I, I can't blame her. You know, it was her dad, even though he was an asshole. Okay, so let's see. We gotta get into... We gotta figure out a way to get into his office. Uh, how do we do that? We came through here, right? This is somebody's room. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Welcome, Overseer. View security dossier. Tunnel snakes. If Butch and his leather-clad delinquents accost Amata one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. I think that's how you pronounce that. I've heard the word before, but I can't remember how you pronounce it. I think it's acerbic. Uh, their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Okay. Beatrice. Just what Vault 101 needs. An absent-minded, sexually repressed syncopant. Syncophant. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. That sounds a little ominous. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. I never should have assigned Jonas as Joan James's assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Well, why did you kill him then? Every time I try to get a monitor to open up, she just pushes me further and further away since she was a child. I've tried to instill in her the virtues that have made this vault what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, and hard work. <clears throat> she does try, and with a lot of guidance, has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder when she continue, continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not her father, that has cared for her alone, alone since she was an infant. Okay, uh, view scouting reports. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to be still common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of Radex with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared um, or are no longer passable. 
Yeah, so much for no one ever leaves, huh? Uh, we encountered a group of monstrous ants, which appeared to confirm McKay's theories of mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. The good news is that human civilization still survives, despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, see Exhibit B, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland, as the area around Washington, D.C. is now called. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization, of sorts, but it seems that giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey um, plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Agnes remained in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Okay, so Lewis and Agnes are in Megaton. We'll have to remember that. Ann Palmer, survey leader, February 10th, 2241. Exhibit A, giant ants, scary. Exhibit B, megaton, scary. Um, back. Okay. Vault tech instructions. Letter from Dr. Stanislaus Braun. A letter to the overseer from Dr. Stanislaus Braun. Uh, Stanislaus, yeah, Braun. If you are reading this, emergency vault internment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations. You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by Vault Tech Corporation, as outlined in your employment agreement. Your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. Dr. Stanislaus Braun, Director, Societal Preservation Program, Vault Tech Corporation. Attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the Overseer's Sealed Orders. Uh, vault Tech Scientific Entry, the GEC. The GEC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by Vault Tech. A terraforming module capable of creating life from complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of the nuclear Armageddon in a vault tech patented vault, residents can then activate the GEC and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. Uh, okay. And then let's see... Open the Overseal's Tunnel. Uh, are we done? I can't, uh, I can't get out of here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. These lockers are empty. Overseal's terminal. I mean, again, there's not really much point in us taking this, but I'll take it anyway. Okay. Here we go. Get out of here, bug. Uh, elevator? Know what this is? Activate switch. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, we're out the gate. Okay. so mad at me? Good. You're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! Uh, your father deserved to die. He was a murderer. Oh, really? And who appointed you judge, jury, and executioner? I know he wasn't perfect, but he was my father. I thought you were my friend. He was the only family I had left. I thought you, of all people, would have understood that. You'd better get out of here before I change my mind and call the guards. Okay, so first of all, oh shit, my baseball bat is what helped me decide to be judge, jury, and executioner, A, and B, think about what your father did to Jonas's family. So, 
There's no fucking excuse for him. Come here. The combat is so jank in this game. <laughs> It'll be a little bit better in uh, with the mods, but you know, 2010 game, right? There we go. We got a crit on his head. Nope, none of that stuff's gonna help us out. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, this concludes episode one of our playthrough. And also, we're locked out. <laughs> and also, um, the vanilla portion of our playthrough, everything from here on out is going to be um, capital punishment on A Tale of Two Wastelands. So when we start up episode two, we'll basically be in this same spot. But as you know, when we leave, then that's when we'll actually choose our real skills and our perks and, and you know, all of that sort of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. And if you did, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe. Boop, try that again. <laughs> and if you did, please take a moment to, hey, got a skeleton here. Uh, to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, share out the video and all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.